Well, let's bring in uh, Eric Roberts, who is a big fan of our show, Robin. I didn't believe it or know not. that. Eric uh, had a, a brilliant acting career, and then all of a sudden his sister went and became a superstar. Which I think is, uh, hey, Eric, look at you. Hey, he's in good shape. He's got a very good body, yeah. Yeah, you've got a good body. Mm. Yeah. You are handsome. Good body, nice hair. You're better looking than your sister. Look at the muscles on you. Dude, what, are you in the gym all day? Uh, uh, I know, Howard, this is how I came. <laughs> uh. Hey, it's Eric Roberts, for yeah, real. The Pulp of Greenwich Village. <laughs> I love that movie. That's I was a great movie. movie. Great movie. Thanks. Stop chewing gum, Eric. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, man, you know, you're almost as pretty. You're like as pretty as a girl. Oh, you guys say. Break, Look yeah. at this guy. <laughs> Look at that. He had to build those muscles because everybody thought that. Robin's ready to rape you. <laughs> Look at That's her. why they keep me behind this glass. <laughs> what do you do? You work out what? Three, four hours a day? Be honest. Come on, you don't get muscles like that. Look at the guy's chest. He must. Really stay at the gym a lot. What are you in the gym like? And then you do that karate stuff, right? Well, see, I just got. You don't know gym. karate. You know karate? I don't know anything about it. Are you kidding me? I, uh... <laughs> they wanted me to be in that movie with Eric. Best of the best, come yeah. on. Best of the best. <laughs> I just, I just did a movie called The Specials with Sly Stallone, and uh, you have to stay in shape to be in a movie with the Sly. You know. Right, right. That's the thing. So how do you do that? You take steroids or something? No, Howard. <laughs> no. What do you do? Though? How do you get the fat off your stomach? Seriously, like I've got that. I've got that. Uh... That. Cute little roll. See, look, here. Yeah. I do about you know 100 I mean? leg-ups a day and, yeah. and hundreds of sit-ups. Really? Hundreds? Yeah, hundreds. Yeah, he oh. has all day to work out. <laughs> and what's with your wife? She's as hot in the body department as you? Does she uh, do all those leg-ups, too? She, well, a certain kind of leg-up. Yeah? Yeah. I can't believe your sister became such a big star. I think, in a way, it like Did kinda, that bother you? Yeah, it does bother him. Because <laughs> you got you? her into the business. And then, boom. Does it bother you? Seriously, be honest. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, you have to, for the family, say no, I'm no, sure. No, I guess no, for, no. for radio, you have to say no. The only, the only thing that bothers me is like what I heard just the other day, $12 million she makes. I know. And, that and, bothers you. And that bothers yeah, me. that would bother me, too. <laughs> How do you compete with that? Because you know what? Siblings are naturally competitive. Sure. Am I right? Seriously. I, I mean... Well, uh, I... I think like most of her drive, you know, came off of envy, sure. Yeah. And, 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 and like she has a lot of drive. You, you're estranged from her or you're uh, on a good relationship with her? Uh, well, well, it all depends, uh, you know, what you consider a good relationship. You know, we're like, you know. Because you, know. you two are a little bit wild. You know, Answer the question this way because I see you're having problems. <laughs> yeah, right. Can you call her on the phone? Oh, yeah, sure. Really? You yeah. have her number. Sure. And do you talk regularly? No. See? I, How I, often would you say you talk? Once a year. And uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe twice. Maybe. What so, is that? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's weird. I think Julia is hard to deal with. Hmm. Or maybe Eric's hard to deal with. You I don't know. Eric's kind of weird, too. You weren't invited to the wedding. Yeah. What the hell's going on oh, exactly, man. Eric? I don't know, Howard. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> You're uh, all shook. What do you mean you don't know? No, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, why? why Wait, I were know. you friends at one time? Honest to God, we were we were very close at one yeah. time. Yeah. Honest to God, the truth is... And you got her is, started in acting. The truth is, I know as much about it as you do, Howard. Really? I swear there, to Christ. There are yeah. people between you two now. Well, uh, see, the only thing I heard about the wedding was a quote from my mother. Who said, oh my God, she married a guy with Brillo head. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. Eric's afraid of Lyle. No, right? no, he's scared. I, looks like he's from Mars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. You know, Jackie the Joke Man was invited to the wedding, and Eric Roberts wasn't. It's unbelievable. If that is bad, when a brother I'm and his not sister. In a wedding. I'd That's like to bring ridiculous. you two together. You should well, do a movie together. Yeah, I really would. I really would like to bring you together. I'd yeah, like you'd to know. think that eventually she'd say, you know, I want to do a movie with my brother. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe, maybe she's just like weird or something. Because Eric, you have a reputation for being weird and stuff, but. Are you really weird? He doesn't think so. <laughs> Eric is a little weird. He is. Yeah, maybe Come on, you're weird. you gotta admit. You never beat your sister, you never, you never did anything to your sister bad, and yet, all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, why would she be mad at you? You gotta start it in acting. And when did it occur? When she hit the big time? Well, uh, just, just before Pretty Woman came out, we're on the lot, uh, uh, like down in North Carolina, having lunch with her, with her uh, then boyfriend, Kiefer. Uh -huh. And we're having a great time. Pretty Woman hit the scene, and that's pretty much the last I heard. No, no, the last I heard from was at my birthday party, just after Pretty Woman was out. And she came over to my house for my birthday, had her hair cut and bleached blonde, and I said, what do you do to your hair? 
and she told me, I've like done this for Tinkerbell, you know, why can't you be supportive? I hate you, I hate you, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then, wow. and then, and then I heard that Steven Spielberg asked her to change her hair too. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say, I hate you to him? You want to uh, know something? I'm going to tell you something right now. Sometimes when people get a lot of money, they suddenly feel they're independent. They don't need their families anymore. Hmm. Wait till her face scrags out a bit and suddenly the fame isn't there. Maybe a few bad investments. She'll be calling well. Eric Roberts on the phone. Hello, Eric. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Who? Uh, remember a couple of years ago I didn't think my ass smelled? <laughs> my duty didn't stink? Well, now I think my duty stinks again and I want to reestablish our relationship. It's time we got back together. Uh, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? <laughs> now you want to be my friend? What are you, low on cash? As a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> I need a loan. Oh, now you need a loan. <laughs> That's right. All right, Eric, we'll take a break. We'll get back into this uh, dysfunctional family of yours. This <laughs> Julia Roberts, who I don't know who she thinks she's become, but uh, I'll get to the bottom of it. What do you do for your next phone call? I got call? no bad feelings against my sister. No, no, no. I have bad feelings now. You know, you know. When do you do for your next a phone call to her? You know who I've got bad feelings about, though, Howard? Who? Is my sister's agent. Uh, I forget her name, my wife will remind me, uh, who told me that nobody would speak to me if it weren't for my sister, Julia. No. Oh. Really? Oh. Yeah. That's wrong. Well, I'm speaking to you. I She's never know. gotten that kind Dude, of critical. Dude, you were close with her the whole time. All I know, but I think all I know is what I hear from other people. And, and like what I read a quote from my mother said I wasn't invited to the wedding because I might make trouble. <laughs> and I heard... Now, what's wrong with your mother? Yeah, why would she say that? I don't know. Have you made story, trouble? Right. Do you make trouble? No, I don't make trouble. Did the uh, whole family side with Julia? Uh, 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 yeah. You, you, you know She's what? the favorite. Oh, you know what? boy, you know Eric. Yeah. To be honest, uh -huh. I think the only trouble that my sisters and I have is that we disagree about my mother. And I don't want to get into it here on the air because it's, it's kind of personal. It's kind of family. I love personal. You know, kind of I, well, I'll get into it, okay? <laughs> right. The but, mother was an acting teacher. Yeah. No, no. That's so you're already that's, wrong. That's the that's fallacy. The that well, well, see, he's saying she wasn't much of an actress. <laughs> well, see, my uh, my uh, dad ran an acting school in Atlanta, Georgia, called the Actors and Writers Workshop. Yeah. Right. And my mom answered the phone for it. Oh. oh. And and, and uh, my mom also taught a class of like you know five year olds, which is basically babysitting. Right. Uh -huh. uh, right. But uh, and then when I got famous, about nineteen. 80, 81, around the like star 80 time. Right. She uh, she started to like teach acting under the auspices of having taught me. Right. Ah. Uh, Which bothered you because no no I right. just ignored it. Okay. You know, it was it was way for her to make a living and that's fine. You know it's kind of it's kind of silly but that's okay. Right. And uh, then after Julie hit hit it huge with Pretty Woman, you know like cause she also taught Julia. So she's taking advantage of all these poor people who don't understand that I never took a lesson from her and like and Julie never took a lesson up until she left home. Uh -huh. Right. And and like. I got her to leave home, and so it, it's, uh, oh. it is what it is. It's, it's, it's outrageous, but your mom oh. want to get back together with you. If my mom's listening, hey, maybe open up a radio school in Rockville Center, make a few bucks, <laughs> do something with your life. You know, maybe it would do something. I taught him everything I know. I'm a radio teacher. I teach radio. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird, but I don't think it would break up our... Yeah, I guess I would think kind of weird of my you mother You would if get she did pretty that. angry, I think, if your mother did that. Yeah, I'd get real angry. Because my mother goes around cutting deals You'd all day. You'd stop to that right away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, it's like a Sylvester Stallone thing. You got Jackie Sloan running around with a big headband and, and reading people's fortunes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so it's wacky. You know what's weird? I'd like to be in on the one conversation Eric has with Julia Roberts uh, once a year, that one big conversation. Do you run into each other at family functions, or you just totally stay away from your family? Uh, uh, we don't really have family functions. Mm. Yeah, uh, like in my family... <laughs> it it doesn't my... sound it. It sounds like your family just dysfunctions. Sounds like half the family's <laughs> at war with each other. I don't know. Yeah, that's why you had to learn karate in that movie, because for his family reunions. Yeah, like my family is my wife, yeah. Right. I, that's my family, too. Yeah. Ooh, hubba hubba. How'd you uh, get her? She won't come in here? Let me take a break. I'll coax her into the studio. Well, this is very exciting. Eric Roberts is here, and I've coaxed the very beautiful, very uh, plunging V-neck. Yeah, showing her chest. Both of you are wearing plunging V-necks, as a matter of fact. This is what my kids were afraid of. Robin, hey, you are, you are married Robin. to Eric, or you guys are uh, girlfriend and boyfriend? Oh, you are married. Oh, very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But, you, you and how does a guy get a girl like you? I mean, does he have to be Eric Roberts uh, caliber or... Uh... Where did you two meet? 
on the MGM Grand in the air. Airplane. That's where girls should go to meet rich Hollywood guys. <laughs> they, they ended that uh, Yeah, because too many, guys, yeah. too many guys were hooking up with girls on that. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, what were you doing that you were on the MGM? Uh, I, was, I was coming back to L.A. from New York on business. Mm. So I was actually... And I did you join the Mile High Club, the two of you? Uh, you no, 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 no. We're much classier than that, Eric. What yeah, happened? You went out on a date, you walked up to her, Eric, or she walked up to you and said, uh, Mr. Roberts, I'm a big fan or uh, anything? No, See, what happened is, like, I was in another relationship at the time, what have you. Who were you know? dating then? Probably right. a hot uh, model, am I no, correct? No, no, no. Anyways. Was it an right. actress? No, 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 no. no. So not in the is, business. Very pretty, though. Very so, pretty. Yeah. So, so, the thing is, I'm reading a script. She, she's reading a script. We see this. We talk a little bit. I tell her who my favorite writer is, a man named David Raphael. He just happens to be her father. What? I say, really? Really? We start talking. And, yeah, you know, he wrote, like, the way we were. Three days of the condor, the firm, etc. Around yeah. midnight. And she just yeah. woke up and you go, yeah, Oh, can I meet midnight. Julia? You know, none of that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> well, no, there was uh, no Julia. There was no Julia at that point. As a matter of fact, uh, I told her about Julia, and I was very proud of my sister, who had, who had made, I think, two or three movies at the time. A uh, brother who was proud of his sister, and, and yet now, talk about her. now scorned and by so, the same sister. Now stop. So, oh, come on, come so, on. I'm a, I'm a little uptight about this. So, I tell Eliza all about my sister, and uh, I tell her that she had to go see your Mystic Pizza, so she did. Mm. Hey, cut to the good part. When do you get to go to bed together? Yeah. So, Wait a minute. You're so, in a relationship, but so, you exchange numbers and stuff? Well, he wasn't no. married. No. We, we, <laughs> were you married to the woman that you were in the no, relationship with? No. Not. I, I, I was never going to be married. Oops. Oops. Ah. Oops. <laughs> there it is. I liked his cat. He had a kitty on his lap in a box. <laughs> he wanted to be friends, and I, I thought... Yeah, and you're like, hey, this guy's really cute. I want to get into now, the Now, you knew who he was right away. I did. But I had the same reaction as what Howard said at the beginning. I, I just sort of like hadn't seen him for a while. And you were really uh, horny for him right away? No, we were trying to hide oh, from each other. Come on, you, like... you got to be horny for a guy that looks like this. I mean, this guy's prettier than no, most women. I thought he was absolutely beautiful, of course. Right, yeah. I, I mean, the I, guy, I, I, I think he is. is. <laughs> I think I'd sleep with him. <laughs> but wow. I was. I mean, I hate to say it. I'm not... <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I think I could kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, how long does it take before he gets you in bed? Uh, years. Oh, yeah. we 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 didn't start kissing until 1991. Really? And we got what? married in '92. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was really like very it. romantic. Yeah. So yeah, all that time you were just working on the friendship, huh? Yeah, we were. Yeah. And it was a good one. Yeah, you're a, a knockout. One. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'm talking to Eric. <laughs> <laughs> He's hard. He's hard. And you're very skinny. What's this yes. about your stomach there? Talking no, no, it's about? a little flabby. It's not. I, how do you get it muscular? How do you get everything toned? I think that's genetic. How often does Eric work out? It's just work. You gotta work every day. Out every day. Yeah. He does. So yeah, yeah, he works out every day. Once in a while, twice a day. And on, and on the days he misses, he sounds like a teenage girl. Complaining about you know that yeah. and you guys have kids and stuff and then like what happens when Eric shows up at like a PTA meeting or something like this is there a big uh, hubbub there he is Eric Roberts it depends you I know? don't do PTA Eric no but do no. you do you do you I mean I'm sure you live in a neighborhood right your neighbors see you walking around and stuff they're regular <laughs> they get people used, they, get yeah. used to it. they do they, they don't make a big deal yeah they wave and throw me a frisbee yeah, really okay. yeah sure mm. see I uh, I don't talk to my neighbor hmm <laughs> <laughs> well I'll tell you something. If I was married to you, I'd be doing sit-ups every day. <laughs> but I would love him if he was schlubby and, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, sure you would. Like what you said in your dedication in your book about your wife. She yeah. loved you before everything. Yeah, 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 big deal. I realize that's very meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> I realize now how oh. big deal. How shallow so she, that is. That's, uh, that was her problem, not mine. <laughs> no, I remember where, what was the contract? I know now why you, I remember what it was, why you huh. and Julia Roberts don't get along. Wow. Because she didn't back you up in a custody case. Am I correct? Am I wrong or am I, I right? Was I never incorrect. had a custody that's case. That's incorrect? That's I why, never had a custody case. I thought you had a custody custody. case. No. Where you were with no, a girlfriend no, and you had a kid and you wanted no, custody of the kid. There was no, never any confusion as no, to where the child was supposed no, to be. No, that's why I went on hard copy. Was oh, that what it was? Yeah, to correct that. It wasn't true. That's Julia should have backed you up. <laughs> no, but we didn't do that. What happened? She never sided with your girlfriend over you. Of course she did. She did? Uh, she now, did. What was that about? over a custody case. Oh. Okay. There was never any custody about where the kids should live. There was oh. never any case. Like All right. That. What was the But problem? why did she side with the girlfriend? That's not right. Because he, he, you know how when people break up, we are just talking about this. Yeah. People go, I don't mind you broke up with me, but I didn't like the way you did it. Have I you ever see. heard anybody say, I love yes. the way you did it? I feel yes. Great. I so, love how you broke up with me, Howard. So he, <laughs> have you ever heard that sentence? Yes, I've that heard that. That was so nice. He was not, he was, it, it was a crummy breakup. And, and well, so why would your and sister get involved in going against you? This is between you and someone else. But why would she, she get compassion involved? Because people do that a lot. They adopt the other family. Well, you know, there's a, there was a teleplay written by a woman named Lila Garrett 
who happens to be her mother-in-law. But uh, it's called Who Gets the Friends? And it's about it's about a breakup. Well, well, like this is you broke up with a girl. Who gets the family? You broke up with a girl. Yeah. And Julia took the side of the girl. Yes, yeah, she did. <gasps> but it happens. If Romeo and Juliet wanted the the Capulets and the Montagues to get uh, together, all they had to do was get a divorce. I don't know. I swear that's it's a. It's a I always problem. broke up with girls the same exact way each time. Each time How I broke it? up with a How woman, I heard okay. her say goodbye. And then I broke up with her. And that was the end of it. And that's the way it should be done. At least you didn't do it by fax, Eric. You mean the girl who the girlfriend before your beautiful wife? Yeah. She got jealous. You're saying, or you guys didn't have a nice breakup? They, yeah, they didn't have such a nice breakup. It was Which Eric a, takes a lot of responsibility And it came down to like now. a court case or something, and then all of a sudden, no, no, no. Julia it's, showed up in court. It's like, it's like much simpler than that. Man, you've got a complicated life. I was a <laughs> She was a <laughs> We broke up. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's very simple. Wow. And, and I think you can say, can you say that? I, better, I, don't, know. I don't know. We'll tell I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you were bad about it. She was bad about it. It was a misunderstanding. But Julia should not, Julia Roberts should not have been involved in your breakup. Am I correct or am I correct? She wasn't involved in my breakup. Oh. This is all uh -huh. you saying this, Howard. I'm not saying this, Julie, so if you hear this and uh -huh. they tell you, know you this, wait, wait. I'm not no, bad mouthing you, Julie. Let's get into some bad mouthing. No, but Come you on. know what? What? Because I'm not in directly involved. Go ahead. And you sound a little like my, my mother here. Thank and you. I, I agree with her on this, too. <laughs> I think it's one thing to be compassionate and supportive of the other person, right. but you should be open to listening to, to both Eric. sides. If she only speaks to him once a year, how is she going to know what he feels? Yeah, to just really listening. That's all. Maybe you'd even hear him say, oh, I'm sorry for this. I feel really crummy about that. And take some responsibility if you actually listened. Eric Roberts, who has uh, put in fine performances over the years, now uh, has a movie coming out with Sylvester Stallone. What, are you hung out with him for, what, a couple of months? Uh, yeah. What's his problem? Is he a kook or has he got it together? You know, he's a really funny, charming guy. The, the only kind Womanizer, of true? Uh, uh, well, he didn't womanize me. Let me put it. He that didn't way. come on to you in any way. <laughs> no. At no point during the filming, no. he never came on to you. Uh, no, no. The, the, you guys didn't rub oil on each other's chest to get the hair off or no anything like that. No He offered me his next movie, even. Really? Yeah. And then, and then, I mean, he hands me the script on the set. Here, Eric, I want you to be in this. Really? So, so I take this. Nice and impression I look at of Sylvester. Right. And, it's, and it's called Judge Dredd, right? I look at it. I take it home. I read it. It's kind of futuristic. It's based on the comic book character Judge Dredd. I think, well, that's kind of cool. Well, I could spend like five months in a helmet. Sure. That would be so cool. So I go back and I say, have you offered this to me? He goes, yeah, yeah, sure. You want it? I said, yeah. So you're going to do it. Out of this. So, so then uh, I had my agent call him up and, uh, uh, what? He, did, he didn't know anything about it. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm suspicious of him. Did he ask for Julia's phone number? <laughs> oh, no. See, that could have been it. Look, I don't know how the guy could be a womanizer with his standards about bodies. He there was a five week old baby there and he right. was pointing to a beautiful baby. Yeah. Look, absolutely no body fat, he says about this five week old <laughs> That's baby. True. Oh. It's a true story. I, <laughs> now, you I know, think he's a little obsessed. A little bit. So Well, you're having a good life. It's despite the fact that Julia and you don't get along. It sounds still like you guys are having fun. We're doing, we're doing. I have a great life. I will bring you together. I have a great wife, too. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah, doubt yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Obviously, no body fat on her. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you work out, too, like a madman, or what? I, I swim. Yes, you do. A little. She swam the English <laughs> Channel, I think. Uh, yesterday. Yes. And uh, very beautiful. I would uh, describe you as uh, uh, auburn-haired, uh, 38, 24, 36. Am I close? Oh, you're very close, Howard. Yes. Yeah, Intuitive, Eric takes her measurements every day so <laughs> yeah. to make sure she stays within a proper framework. Guy's smart. I let my, I didn't measure my wife for a few weeks. She let herself go. She let herself <laughs> slip. <laughs> That's right. She let herself slip. <laughs> but um, I'm glad you came in today. I am too. It's a pleasure to meet you. you. And um, uh, you, you guys sound like you're having fun, even though the, even through the pain, even through the pain <laughs> of this uh, rather dysfunctional uh, Eric Roberts family. You should do a shrink show, Howard. Yes. I'm thinking of doing that next. You're, you're very talented. Robin uh, says the same thing every day. Yeah, Robin, you're right. Right. <laughs> and thanks I for say coming. He needs a shrink. He doesn't listen. To me. <laughs> yeah, and, th and thanks for coming in. You bet. And uh, we look forward to seeing the next movie with Sylvester Stallone. Is there anything coming out before then? Uh, there's a movie called The Nature of the Beast with uh, me and Lance Henriksen. That's wonderful. Lance Henriksen is perfect in this movie. And when will we see that? Uh, I think around the fall. All right. Well, come yeah. back and uh, let us know when it's, you know, come back and do a promotion around. I'll do that. I'll do that. Here's your book that I signed. Uh, cherish that. I will. That'll I go will. up in value with time. Thank you, Howard. Okay. Thank you, Robin. That's something Julia doesn't have. <laughs> yeah, Ju Stop Julia it. will not receive <laughs> a book. Stop it. Now you have something Julia doesn't have. <laughs> Eric Roberts has my book signed. <laughs>
If Julia came in here and asked me to sign her book, I wouldn't do it. All right, anyway, Eric Roberts, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you. I'm Howard. very honored to meet you. You're a great actor. Fun and, um, and thank the very lovely Mrs. Roberts. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, guys. I will hug you goodbye on the way out. Coming up next is Robert Klein, the host of the fabulous stand-up sit-down comedy program with tonight's guest, Marsha Warfield. Stick around, the laughs are just a